a genuine Stratocaster that you can buy on Amazon for $119? Yeah guys, it's totally true. You can now buy a Squire by Fender, a real Stratocaster on Amazon for $119. So this is what they're calling the new debut series and it comes in three colors, black, red, and sunburst. I was doing one of my weekly live streams the other day and one of my viewers that was watching, he suggested that I check this out and do a video on it and so I looked it up on Amazon. Now this appears to be an Amazon exclusive because these are not being sold anywhere else, at least that I could find. I googled it, I looked on the Fender website, nothing. GuitarCenter.com, nothing. So as of right now, as far as I can tell from spending a few minutes searching, these are only on Amazon, so it does appear to be an Amazon exclusive. And if I had to guess, I would say this is Fender's attempt, using the Squire brand of course, to try to compete with these brands, all these budget brand guitars that are selling on Amazon for well under $200. Will it hold up against these other budget brands that also sell well under $200? Let's open up this box and find out. And real quick guys, if you could do me a huge favor, if you are not already subscribed, to the Bald Shredder YouTube channel. If you could take a quick second to just reach down there and hit that subscribe button, boy, I would really appreciate that. Thanks. All right, I got it out of the box, and I do have to say, guys, the packaging is pretty good. Like, it's, it's some pretty good protection. And the foam material here for the bag is actually thicker than most of these that come on these budget guitars. All right, guys, so you can see that I got the sunburst color. Let's take the rest of this stuff off. Okay, here it is, guys. The Squire by Fender. That's what it says on the headstock. Squire by Fender. Debut Series Strat in the sunburst finish. Now the first thing that grabs my attention right away is that the neck is not nearly as like thin as I thought it was gonna be because I've had a couple of Squires before and the necks were really slim, you know? So not bad, just not as thin as I thought it would be. And it's not super light either. I thought it would be like really light, like they would use like a cheap lightweight wood, but it appears that they haven't. Um, according to the Amazon listing, it's got a poplar body, a maple neck, and a laurel fretboard. Now I am not like a Squire or a Stratocaster expert, but I'm looking at the thickness of the body here, guys, and I'm thinking it's probably a, a little bit thinner than like a standard Strat body. Now this does not have a high gloss finish. It's like a matte or a satin finish. And that just makes me wonder, is that, is that one of the spots where they were able to save a little bit of money by not putting the high gloss on it? You know, in order to get this down to $119, there definitely had to be some cost-saving measures. All right, I'm gonna put my uh, spectacles on here to get a closer look at things. The fretboard looks really nice, the Laurel fretboard. I like that. It appears to have your like typical Strat size frets. So not jumbo frets, of course, just kind of medium. Not too small though. And I gotta say, like, they look nice and shiny. So the frets are good. And I say that because a lot of times, guys, when you get these budget guitars, the frets, the metal part, will be kind of grungy and you need to take the strings off and you need to clean them up, polish them up, but these appear to be in really good shape, so that's good. The nut is decent. Um, I'm guessing it's probably a, a plastic nut, but again, it looks a lot better than a lot of the other plastic nuts that I've seen on some budget guitars. And the regular kind of tuners that you would expect to see on this. And here's the back, guys. You can see the, the neck plate is just a plain chrome plate, so no logo or anything on that. And then we've got just your standard Strat setup. Three single coil pickups, a volume, two tones, five-way blade switch, your six screw vintage style bridge, and yes guys, it does come with the whammy bar to put on there. Now, like I said earlier, this thing does not feel super lightweight, so I'm gonna grab my little digital scale here, and we're gonna weigh this thing because yeah, it's not super light, but maybe not super heavy either. So let's check it out. 7.6 pounds, guys. So pretty average on the weight. All right, so the next big question, how does it play? How does it sound? Let me uh, tune it up real quick and plug it in and let's give it a shot. <laughs>
I have to admit it guys, I like this thing way more than I expected to. I was ready to poo poo all over this thing. I expected it to be pretty terrible. But to my surprise, that is not the case at all. First of all, the action on this is incredibly low. I didn't adjust anything. It's super low. There's not a single buzzing fret anywhere. And what that means for me guys is even though the neck is not super thin and it doesn't have the extra jumbo frets, because it has really low action and the fret work is just like superb, I can play this thing really well. It's really comfortable for me to play, even on the shredding stuff. Now the pickups. Now of course these are not going to be like high-end expensive pickups, but again, they sound way better than I expected them to. Before I opened it up and did the whole test and played it and everything, I was already thinking like, okay, I'm gonna end up like upgrading the pickups and put something different on here. I'm not so sure that I really need to replace anything because the sound, the sound that I was getting was very acceptable. Now I'm not saying like this is the most phenomenal strat you're ever gonna get, whatever, but for $119, they really knocked it out of the park. And for $119, guys, the fretwork does not need to be this nice, but yet it is. So yeah, totally, 100%, this thing is getting the bald shredder stamp of approval. So you know, a lot of times we talk about these budget guitars and we say, well, you know, it really wouldn't be good for a beginner because there's so much setup work you have to do on it and they're gonna be turned off by the, the setup, it's not good, they don't know how to, how to adjust things, oh, the action is way too high, it's gonna be hard to play, blah, 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 and so on and so on, but this thing, this is perfect for any beginner because it's super easy to play right out of the box. I mean, literally, all I did was tune the strings and it plays fantastic. And you're gonna get a pretty decent sound out of the electronics and the pickups. And as far as the rest of us guys, experienced players like me, definitely you should consider this as like a modding platform. Like, I, well, I don't have a Strat, you know? I want a genuine Stratocaster from Fender. Yeah, it's Squire, but it still says by Fender and you wanna spend like very little money, $119, come on. And then if you wanna modify it, different pick guard, different pickup, different electronics, better tuners, you can do all that and you're still gonna come in at you know a really inexpensive, really cool, re pretty good Stratocaster guitar. Uh, I almost forgot to mention guys, the tuners, the tuners are okay. They're not super smooth, so that might be something that you might wanna upgrade if you're, if you're getting it for those purposes. All right guys, so that about does it for the new debut series Fender Squire Strat that you can get on Amazon for $119. If you wanna check it out and you want more information, of course I've got the link down in the description. All right guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.